We are live in Montreal at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve, where the teams are making final preparations before today's practice session gets underway. In 1999, the outside track wall, situated on the last corner of the lap, ended the race of three Formula One world champions, Damon Hill, Michael Schumacher and Jacques Villeneuve. Since then, the wall has come to be known to fans around the world as the infamous Wall of Champions. Turns 13 and 14 are definitely the most demanding corners on the track. A quick chicane section entering at over 180 miles per hour, drivers use plenty of kerb and get very close to the wall but hitting those kerbs at the wrong angle can easily put the car offline. You'll see a lot of drivers bail out of committing into turn 13 using the escape road to avoid contact with the wall. Very good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable information out of that. Program complete and a job well done. It's our primary target time. handle in the wet. Do you have any worries going into the race and call up? You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Appreciate your time. Come again then and we hope you're ready for another fantastic session as the teams prepare to unleash their cars for qualifying at the Canadian Grand Prix. When it comes to getting lap time out of this circuit, it's traditionally been about maximising top speed. Do you simply remove as much downforce as possible, hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? The teams will have arrived with all manner of parts designed to capitalise on the long straights. The cars will be that much harder to drive in the corners, but everyone will be in the same boat.
happy with that position. Well done. Wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Hamilton, Ricardo, and Valtteri Bottas. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. We'll be seeing top speeds of around 210 miles an hour here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve with around two thirds of the lap taken at full throttle. High-speed chicanes spell potential danger, especially at the infamous Wall of Champions. And watch out for overtaking into the hairpin and the final chicane. Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Crofty. There's been some controversy surrounding some comments they made in the media recently. What's your take on that? I think the fans always find it refreshing to find a driver who speaks their mind, but it's generally not a great idea to go around bad-mouthing the people who employ you and build your car. These are the people you want to keep motivated and on your side. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, with Daniel Ricciardo slotting in alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Kimi Raikkonen, and Vettel, Perez, Crofty, Leclerc, and Roman Grosjean, Alonso, Gasly, Esteban Ocon, and Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Sainz, Brendan Hartley, and Marcus Ericsson, Sirotkin, and Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
Once now, one stop left. Slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Green flag. We're expecting the rain to hit us any time now. Dry seem like the fastest tire. Fantastic podium, super driving, really strong pace, very, very happy. And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. standings. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after an excellent result. Moving on to the driver of the day then, 
Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Let's give it to Lance Stroll. That was a quality drive from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Everything went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. We all underestimated you, didn't we? It looks like you're schooling your rivals at the moment. Great, well that's everything. That's a great result. You did really well. I don't think we can have any complaints with that performance. We've received invitations to new historic events. You'll be able to choose whether or not to participate before the end of this weekend.